Hello guys and thanks for tuning in again to another one of my uh, build videos today. We, uh, well, one of my friends wanted my original build for Shabribri, uh, which was and uh, now is uh, basically a shock focused build. I did have a lot of fun playing the Rhino, so I went ahead and I changed my original build to another tank build. Um, I mean, being fair, tanks right now just run over everything. The amount of AP values, the added to stability is just insane. So it's amazing to trade damage. This build in particular is going to make you very strong at pretty much all ranges. You have for close range, you have the two pistols, the shock pistols. And for back, you have the deadly needle launchers that we all know they are OP as hell. So you know that this build is going to wreck people in the nest. Let's go ahead and what we have on it. Now, if you like these videos, remember to subscribe so that you can catch them. And if you like Mortal Kombat or want to see um, some Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay and some tips and stuff like that, they're also coming soon, okay? Mostly, I, what I like playing is like Mortal Kombat, I like Doom, and I like From Software. That's, that's my gig here, so only quality, bruh. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see what we're doing with this build. So we have, again, the V66 EG pistols, ridiculously strong. 104 attack power doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, these weapons also add shock damage to the enemy. And after a while, the shock damage accumulates and... Um, they get stunned and they get hit uh, like a big chunk of HP. Um, I'm assuming a, around 1500 should be the correct number. You can see like he shoots at him and then the electricity kits like crackling doing damage for a little long for, for a little longer. And you get one of the bars, a yellow bar that once it reaches maximum, then you get stunned for a second and you also uh, receive a damage. Uh, like you also get damaged so it's interesting because even if you if this weapon does not have any significant impact at just 54 you still are able to stun your opponent um, especially in combination with the extremely powerful needle launchers like I honestly would like to see the ammunition beast to be re brought down like honestly like this shouldn't have more than 10 shots like what, what are we doing here uh, the weight is almost meaningless for what it does the energy load is there like 825 is a lot of energy load um, but it does do a thousand damage it does 900 impact and again this weapon does that um electricity effect plus it does an explosion so you also have area of effect projectile speed damage impact all of it in a single package and just for six thousand weight so um incredibly strong weapon maybe a little too much so that's what we were using for attack that and the assault armor for whenever they get closed you will wreck them again i am a strong believer in the assault armor it is my preferred style so all of my builds have it unless well so far all of my new builds have it um so yeah let's go for the head the head is the vp 44 d as you can see um here you can compare it to the uh, mind beta mind beta is one of the heads that people recommend the most it does have better energy load it does have worse weight now the reason why i use the vp 44 d is because you do get 310 more ap in exchange for like 15 attitude stability so it kind, of, it kind of depends on what you want. It also has better system recovery. Um, but it, it had like, the mind beta is a very good one. You're sacrificing like 300 AP. You're sacrificing uh, anti-energy defense and anti-explosive defense. Um, but you do have better, better added to stability by 15. You have better system recovery, which helps you with effects like the electricity one that we're talking about and fire. Um, it has a better scan distance, even if the scan duration is 2.4 seconds less, the scan distance is 10 more, and the scan standby time, basically the refresh rate for your, um, you know, to do the scan is a whole one second faster. 
Personally, since this is a tank build, I went with the VP 44D because I just enjoy having those 300 more AP are totally worth it when it comes to combat. And everything else the, the, the head brings to the table is just it's pretty great. Plus, it looks pretty great. But if you want to change it and you don't mind having 300 less HP, then the Mind Beta will be your first choice. Second choice, probably the Varial, although you are sacrificing a lot more of attitude stability, but you are getting it back in insane defense uh, performance, right? Plus looks, because this head looks dope. Anyhow, so uh, that's for the head, the core. We are using the V40A. You may or may not know or by now, but most of my heavy builds use this thing because of the very high generator energy output. If you would like to swap it out for something else, go ahead. Something like the main dish would probably be a good recommendation. Uh, you would get a lot better when it comes to generator supply output, which makes that you your energy recharge delay is a lot faster, but you are sacrificing a big chunk of efficiency here. That's the name of the game. So if you are willing to do that sacrifice plus sacrificing AP, um, although you do get a better defense and attitude stability, then just go ahead and do the swap. These two are possibly the best two chests or torsos for this build. Um, then for the arms, uh, I have been using a lot and I still use a lot of the Tian Lao. So I wanted to try something different and I sacrificed the AP for uh, more defense. In this case, we do have a good defenses all the, all the way up to 1200 plus on all of them. Almost almost 1300 so on this too so pretty good defense value considering the huge amount of ap that we have almost 18k um additionally the the weapon has it's pretty much a defensive uh piece i really like the the style too so this build like tank legs let you come in and out with stuff so um don't worry too much about it like when it comes to the head the torso well mostly the head and the arms you can swap them in and out the torso maybe not so much because it does give you a gigantic boost when it comes to the energy output efficiency so if you change it well that's up to you right and finally the more than means that since this is effectively a tank build now for the fcs we are using the extremely overpowered although energy inefficient um walter 001 which will give us a big boost at medium range which is mostly the range that we're going to be fighting at uh, and pretty decent long range in case you want to try and snipe with the needle launchers um we have 50 close range assists trust me like it's more than enough like it's very difficult anyways to miss when it comes in close range, like you have to be like really stiff to miss a close range. Um, so yeah, that's the FCS that we're working with. And finally, we have the generator, the VP20D, um, because of the massive energy output, it brings us, it gives us the energy that we need. Plus, the post energy uh, supply recovery is pretty good, um, and the energy recharge is up there too. So. All in all, a very solid tank build. Well, let's go ahead and check the damage on this thing. So, as it has as it has been with my past builds that have been a little heavier, um, even if you are kind of slow, you still have the ability to do overboost pretty efficiently. Um, you can notice that this build particularly has extremely fast energy recovery. So you can literally just be doing this all day. Remember to kick to cancel it. One second, boop, it's all back up and you can keep going again. So even if it's a tank, you're still going to be able to effectively just pretty much move in and out as, as you wish. And if you become very good at doing that circling with this, maybe you might get it done with this build too. So with that being said, let's go ahead and have one of our uh, punching bags here come out. So first the pistols, like each one of them have seven, seven shots, they do recharge pretty quickly, they do 65, 13 plus 30 damage, 65, 15 plus 30, 55, 15 plus 30, so that is effectively a little over 100 if my math is not sucking today, and whenever you go ahead, let me charge them, whenever you go ahead and you, oh, that's another thing, they charge super quick as you can see, and they look so cool, like just, what? what cool cool animation you can see how quickly they they rack up damage what like 
three volleys and this guy is almost done, right? Take into consideration the range is almost non-existent. You can see at 180 meters they're ricocheting. You need to be at less than 100 meters for them to actually be effective. Um, but that's why you have the needle launchers, right? So the needle launchers, just one of them, mm, does a lot of damage over over a thousand damage, like twelve, thirteen hundred. Um, you can see the impact, how how high it goes, right? You can keep it up, really stun your opponent for all the damage in the world. So this build, just take into consideration, you have very little ammunition when it comes to the pistol, so it's maybe not the best build to go around doing missions. This is particularly uh, AC killer. It will probably not help you with bosses. It will probably not help you with long missions. You particularly want to use it to kill ACs. Let's start with the trainer AC. As you can see, like he's starting just... The faster you connect the needle launchers, the better. If you're fighting an opponent and he's very mobile, maybe you want to use one of them at a time. Like, you know, you're reloading. One. Two. You wait for them to reload. One. Two. End game. Again, um, the needle launchers are one of the top weapons in this game right now. Like, I think they are the best back weapon there is. So, obviously, it's not surprising that this build is extremely strong. Um, and you are going to be doing very good in the nest if you learn how to use those needle launchers. The pistols just make it very scary for you for them to approach you. Between the pistols and your assault armor, you are going to be able to simply wreck. If you want to try another type of like legs, go ahead. But this tank build lets you trade damage very comfortably. Um, so, I don't know. I thought it was a good idea making it a tank and it does work pretty nicely. So... And that's game for the S tier Freud. Um, that's what it does, and that's probably what you're going to see in the nest unless they start countering you. Um, probably for this build, you are going to want to stay in like maps where your opponent cannot really run away too much from you because they are going to try to stay away from you as much as possible. Understandably so, right? Um, let me have some water here. I'm dry as shit. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and try this in the nest. Um, first, I'm going to upload this. Remember, to the code is going to be below. If you want to just copy-paste it, go ahead. Um, if you want to see more builds or incoming Mortal Kombat 1 content, just simply subscribe. It would be really appreciated. Um, let's see. So, first, let's go ahead and upload this so you can give it a try yourself if you want. Obviously, just understand that most of these builds are... They are attuned to my own playstyle, right? Armored Core has very little bad parts. Most of the parts are good. You just have to fine-tune the combination that works for them. So with this being said, if you feel something is not working as you expected, like for example the generator or the FCS or whatever, you can change it. But for my playstyle, this combination really has been pretty optimal. So um, that's a good thing and a great thing about From Software. They're not like other companies. They go ahead, you start the game. They're like, this is your starter stuff, and everything sucks. And after two hours of gameplay, you'll never see those things again. Nowadays, there's a lot of players that still use your basic orbit core and the, the crawler legs because they have extremely low energy consumption, and they like very highly energy efficient builds. So they still have a lot of space, even in the meta, like the butt. The blade, the original blade you get because of how high the critical damage it is on that thing. A lot of people still use it. I've even seen Auroboros using it. So that's a good thing. Just take that into consideration. There is no bad parts. It's just how you use them and where you use them. 
there might be like three or four bad parts in all the 90 parts that there is that they are for weapons and there's even more when you consider the the builds themselves so without further ado thank you very much for watching um this video let's go ahead and get some nest matches in and wish me luck let's see what's up enjoy A lot of open maps. Ah, I don't want to play open maps, honestly. I'm not. I'm not feeling trying to uh, run behind people, and I'm not feeling having to dodge missiles. Like you, as a tank, you dislike missiles. You do not want to be a tank playing against missiles. Let's go ahead and use grid. Grid is kind of my kind of my jam. I think grid 86 is where I wanna I wanna fight. I don't want to give them a whole lot of um, space to um, basically run away or spam missiles. The good thing about this map is you can go at all, you can always go ahead and simply hide behind those little tank things. Check this guy, bro. Shadow Burp. He might kick my ass. GG's Shadow Burp with Ko OG Big Chicken. <laughs> we already know what he's gonna be doing. But that symbol is rad, bro. Shit is cool as fuck. Very cool. <clears throat> cheer, cheer. Bro, that's not the build to fight me. I hope this guy is incredibly good because if not, he's gonna suffer so much, bro. I feel sorry for him already. So I'm trying to stay away from him now that he has the shield. Oh, there you have the butt. No, he's actually pretty good. Oh, he's using Ouroboros Paladin build. I see what you're doing here, hey bro. Very interesting. Very smart, very smart guy. Very smart, yeah, I've seen that build. That's a Paladin build from Orovoros. Hmm. Definitely annoying with those things. Very, very annoying. So basically, he's using the Scudum shield, which is an extremely strong damage reduction shield. Um, he's using the pistol, he's using the drones to keep the, the impact up, and then he's using the butt, which has, as I was mentioning casually, um, an extremely, extremely high... an extremely high... Um, what's his face? It has an extremely high uh, critical hitch modifier. Now he's out of his shield. The bad thing about the Scudum though is that um, you cannot really dodge with it. You cannot really dodge with it while you have it on because... Because it overheats, right? And I know this very well because Wally, my build, uses it. Which means that he's not able to dodge all of those uh, needle gun shots. 
So GG, KOG, that's definitely a good build. I mean, I saw the video for Ouroboros 2 and I, I saw him using it. Regrettably, this is probably not the type of map you want to fight with it. Nachuiko, Night Train. Okay, let's see what's up here. So one more for the video. Um, hopefully I'm able to fight somebody without a lot of missiles. Um, it's very annoying to fight a tank as missiles, but anything that's not missiles is going to have a hard time against tanks. Double shotgun, double laser gun. Ooh, I think I'm done. That is horrible build. That's very difficult. That, this is going to be horrible, guys. Tank against tank! Ah! Oh, I'm feeling the pressure, bro. Ah, he stunned me. Mmm. Assault armor, bros. Double Zimmerman and lasers. That's sick. That's a strong build. Um, GG's bro, so... This is a tank twisted metal competition right here. Oof. Mm. Ah, I'm gonna die, I'm dying. Ah, die, you mofo, why don't you die? Oh, he tried. Oh, 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 oh. G, G. <laughs> Oof. That was, that was annoying, bro. That was annoying. So, well, that last match was just a tank versus tank for you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, I'm going to be posting another build later this week. Again, I am going to be starting to post some Mortal Kombat 1 content too. So, it's going to come and go. Um, but thanks for watching. Any comments, any ideas, anything that you want to see maybe, just let me know and I'll try to work on it, okay? Have a good one and GG. <laughs> yeah.